Greetings and welcome to the Mid Morning Friday podcast. I was informed there would be punch and pie. I realize sometimes I take way too long with those intros. Hey, all you Billy Bumblers, what the fuck are you up to today? I'm just hanging out. I have nothing to say. We're going off the cuff here. Nothing planned. Sitting down. You and I talking about whatever comes up. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. Um, got a hole in my armpit. I mean, not my armpit, but the, the sleeve of my armpit, which is a bummer because I really like this shirt. <laughs> It's kind of fancy and artsy. That sound uh, pretty much sums me up. Fancy, artsy. Well, let's take a question from our studio audience. When you wear bifocals, um, you do this a lot. Mine are no line. They're, you know, they're there, though. So I'm used to doing this when I have to read. It doesn't help right now, though. <laughs> this might be a fun episode. Uh, how many times during the day do you look at yourself in the mirror? <laughs> a lot less than you probably think I do. Um, I usually avoid the mirror unless I'm in the bathroom for some reason. And, and then, of course, I do, you know, fix my hair, make sure I'm looking prim and proper. <laughs> Clean shaven. <laughs> Groomed. <laughs> Next. Would you like to have... Oh, my God. Okay, would you, would you rather have your rate of physical aging slowed by a factor of 30 so as to give you a life expectancy of about 2,000 years? I'm sorry, that's going to let me Let me just read it again. See you later, cool guy. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> would you like to have your rate of physical aging slowed by a factor of 30 so as to give you a life expectancy of about 2,000 years? Would you? I would. <laughs> Imagine that, because not, not, not that you want to live 2,000 years. I would. I personally would love to live infinitely, to see all times be a part of history in such a way that no one else could be. Now, that's a little egotistical of me. I don't know how, how you achieve that outside of godhood. Um, I would love to live 2,000 years. And here's, here's one of the main reasons why. Right now, we don't have a cure for a lot of diseases and things that eventually will wipe out, you know, the human race, I'm sure. There are things that we don't even know about lurking in the deep, darkest jungles or at the bottom of the ocean floor that we, you know, when we start digging a little too much, we're all going to be in trouble. I think. I don't know. That's my theory. <clears throat> but if you could live to a point in history where these cures have, you know, come come to pass, like there's a cure for cancer. You get cancer, you just go and you get a shot and you're done. No more cancer. Or when you're born, you get a shot and there's no more cancer. Um, I would like to believe that in a 2000 year period, hopefully we'll come up with the answers to a lot of these questions and our lives can be much more, I want to say fruitful, but right now we live, we grind out a 40 hour week. Well, some of us grind out a 40 hour week and, you know, you live for these few moments that you can spend with your friends and your family and they're, it, it, most of your life is spent doing something you don't love doing unless, you know, you get, you get lucky, basically. <laughs> I mean, you can, be, you can have all the talent in the world. It doesn't matter if you're not lucky. If you're not in the right place, I'm not, I don't, not that I believe in luck, I'm just saying. If you're not in the right place at the right time, as far as having a successful job, I don't think it's really talent that's going to get you there. Because I know some talented people who should be doing a lot more with their lives. But what are you going to do? <clears throat> 2,000 years. What would you do with 2,000 years? I would learn every instrument to the best of my ability over that time. Um, that's something I've always wanted to do anyway. I've been talking about buying a drum set for... 16 years now. I said, when we move to Virginia, I'm going to get a drum set. Um, I always love sitting behind a drum set and playing the simple beats that I do know. Um, is that right? Is that right? Drummer terminology? I don't want to sound like a dork. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a dork.
you guys check out the Bad Batch this week? If you guys are Star Wars fans, I have a few friends who are Star Wars fans who refuse to watch the cartoons. And I understand because I was exactly like them. I was like, nah, nah I'm all set. That's stupid. I don't want to watch that. They're going to fuck everything up. Come to find out, the cartoons are some of the best Star Wars stuff that Star Wars produced in the last 20 years. Um, Clone Wars. Um, amazing the, the the details that they go into you know we went from attack of the clones into revenge of the sith and there's actually i believe it's like a three-year period i don't know the, the time i'm not that much of a nerd but i think it's like three years so it's these adventures of obi-wan and and if you're into star wars you should definitely check it out and even more so but after you should watch rebels and then after that go into bad batch because as you progress through these series, the depth of the characters and interactions and these these back plots that you never knew about in the movies, but you learn about through the small episodic episodes. <laughs> How did we get to Star Wars? 2,000 years. I would like to believe in 2,000 years we'll have working, operating lightsabers. I mean, that's something to worth, you know, worth living 2,000 years anyway. Even if you're like, oh, there it is. I'm done. I'm out. See ya. Disney just put out a, a much more realistic working lightsaber thing. I don't know if you saw the video. If I can find a link to it, I don't know if I can link it here. I don't really give a shit. Just do a search for fucking Star Wars new lightsaber. Uh, and they did a, on May the 4th, they released this and it actually comes out. I don't know if it's a fucking light. I don't know. It's probably a tube of some sort and some kind of thing that pushes it. I, I don't know. You're not going to be able to fight with those things, but it's still pretty neat. Like, I'd be very excited to have one. That's my, when I was growing up, there was three things I wanted in life. I wanted to be able to fly. That still hasn't happened yet. And I don't really want to, I don't, I don't consider like learning how to fly a plane flying. Like I physically want to be able to maneuver my body through space and time. Um, I wanted a wrestling belt and I ended up getting a replica wrestling belt. I think when I was around 24 and it was, I love it. I love it to this day. It's one of my favorite things that I have. It's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing was a working lightsaber, which uh, I'm still waiting for that. So come on, science. <laughs> Get on top of this shit. You got more important things to do? Oh, I'm sorry. Is my lightsaber not important enough for you? <laughs> well, you're fired. Get out of here, science. Science just got fired. So if you're looking for a new job, hit me up. Hey, you know what else you could do to support the channel? If you, if you like to, you don't have to. But I have had a link in the comments below, and I don't know if anybody reads the shit that I put down there, but there's a link over to uh, Redbubble, where I set up about four or five different designs, and most of it's t-shirts and, uh, you know, your basic merch. Um, I've been trying to pull everything down because, as my good friend, friend Frank told me, variety, people don't want variety, they want just two or three choices so I'm trying to get there but it's hard because there's a lot of products that I'm like I don't know I'd be interested in something like that if someone made it although I still haven't ordered any of Frank stuff sorry Frank all right let's take one more question from Philip Guzenheim of Boston Massachusetts <laughs> my old stomping grounds Philip has this to say he says if you could change anything about the way you were raised what would it be I was not Oh, I like this one, too. We might do, too. I was not expecting <clears throat> that one. And I don't know if I've ever answered that before. I feel like we might have, but... I don't know. That's a tough one, because you wouldn't be who you were today if, if in, you changed anything about your past. Possibly. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much is inherent in you that you will become no matter what, and how much of it is adopted through living life. I would say... I don't know. Like, not having a dad made me probably, in, in the position my father was, he was a Baptist minister, and there was no way I was going to end up anywhere in that field of work, I guess. I mean, I started down that path, but I escaped it, and I chose to live a different life. So having him around would have been harder on me. I probably would have become more of a punk, um, because... You know, there was no, I would have rebelled, you know, he would have tried to rein me in and I would have, I don't take well to authority, I guess. Being authority, that's the fucking word I mentioned, uh, I was trying to think of the other day in the video. Um, that command presence, that authoritative voice, 
don't do it with me because you will get shut down right away because I will not listen to anything you say. I just can't handle it. My brain doesn't work that way. Maybe it has something to do with the way I was raised. Maybe we should, maybe we should just leave this one alone and, and go that route, you know? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, it would have been nice to have been, you know, super rich or something, you know, not having to worry so much. But we, we didn't do terrible growing up. I'm hoping the green screen looks great, too. I know this takes you guys out of the element for a moment, but I did a lot of work on straightening and getting these smooth and as well lit as possible. You don't care. Here we go. Uh, this, this next one just happened to catch my uh, attention when I was scrolling through the feed. Uh, let's see. This is, uh, uh, oh, this is from a Roland. Roland wants to know, do you believe in any sort of God? If not, do you think that you might still pray if you're in a life-threatening situation? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I don't know. I, yes, yes. It's a weird thing to admit, but yes, I believe in a God. I believe there is not a chance in hell that like this just all just happened. Like I feel like when we talk about the beginning, like we can't begin to explain the beginning. What, what was there? Blackness. There was an explosion and all this happened. I get it. But like there had to be a catalyst. There had to be something. I don't, I'm not saying it's a God. I'm not saying he's a loving personal God. I'm just saying that there must be somehow, some way an omnipotent, omnipresent being that has the power to do what happened, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy, but like that, Now, if I was in life's a threatening situation, you bet your ass, yeah. I'd be like, oh, Lord, please, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> save me. Save me, three and a half pound, baby, Jesus. No, that's, that's blasphemous. I don't mean that. <laughs> I don't mean to offend anybody with that. I think it's funny, but, you know, what one man thinks is funny, another man's treasure. All right. Well, thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit that little bell icon to let you know. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. Uh, I'm Jason Oliver, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy, howdy. 